Well, right now is the Medicare open enrollment period, and there is no time like the present to learn the ins and outs of Medicare. Yeah, every year it always seems like there's changes, and it's always important to do all that research mm -hmm. before enrolling. And joining us now is financial professional David Blackston from Blackston Financial Group to guide us through all of this. And we were just talking about this during the commercial break. This is so confusing. Mm -hmm. Now, where do people, especially people who are new to this, where do we need to start? Well, with Medicare, obviously, it starts when you turn age 65. Yeah. Medicare is a federal health care plan. Mm -hmm. The main thing you need to really do is there's two ways to do it. If you do it on your own, you can go to Medicare.gov, and you can check out all the different options that are out there available. But the best way to do it is check with somebody that is a professional in Medicare that understands the ins and outs on how to pick those plans. We do that every day for our clients mm -hmm. because the problem is if you don't understand about the plans, about open enrollment, Yeah. Part D, Part A, Part B, Part C, all these different parts, you could end up with the wrong one. Right, and people also need to realize they may need gap coverage on Absolutely. this. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people don't know that. Explain why that is. Well, the reason for that is, and that's a great question, Medicare only covers about 80% of whatever your plan, whatever you might have. If you're in Part A, which is your hospital and your mm -hmm. skilled care, it's only going to cover about 80% of the cost. Mm -hmm. So you've got to have something to pick up that 20%. Now, when you, when you talk about Medicare gaps, a lot of times people talk about Medicare supplements. That mm -hmm. is the old traditional Medicare way of doing it. And basically what Medicare supplement does, it pays what Medicare doesn't pay. But where it really gets confusing, inside of Medicare supplements, there's actually 10 different plans inside oh, the oh supplements. Goodness. What happens if you do make a mistake in your enrollment period and maybe you didn't know about the prescription plan or didn't know about a dental coverage plan that you needed? Can you go back or is there a way to add on later? Well, there's no mulligans in Medicare when you pick it like in golf. But what happens is every year you do get the opportunity. It actually starts October 15th through mm -hmm. December 7th as the open enrollment period. So somebody that goes in and finds out that, oh man, I really screwed up, I should have done a different plan, mm -hmm. you can do that next year. But here's the thing I like to tell all of my clients, Part D, which is very important, that is the drug plan. Okay. Everybody's drugs normally change every year, right. and in these Part D drug plans, their formularies change every year. So what you need to do if you're on Part D Medicare, you definitely need to go out to the Medicare.gov site or get somebody like us to enter all your medication to find the plan for next year that meets what you need to be doing. So just because you're on one plan this year doesn't mean it's going to be the best for you next year. Absolutely, because things change. Right. And in Medicare, what has changed for 2019 that we need to be aware of? Well, one of the biggest things that's changed is now they're tiering the cost of Part B. Part B is your doctor. Uh, it's your medical equipment. The normal cost to someone that's income is under $88,000 is about $183 a month. Mm -hmm. That goes up a lot depending on the income people make. So you're going to see an increase in the cost to people that maybe weren't prepared for this. And we were also talking about uh, people who are planning on retiring next year. There is something you need to kind of do between retiring and if you're going to have to be using Medicare in 2019. What would have to what would basically have to go down in, in your procedures before you enroll? Well, the main thing you need to understand is that age 65, there's a basically a six month window that okay. you can three months before and three months after that you can enroll in Medicare and Medicare supplements without there being any health questions asked. So you could, you could have the worst case of cancer and at age 65 you can get coverage as long as you're in that open enrollment period. But it's important that you sit down with a professional, somebody that understands that can help you decide which plan fits your need. What you might be on might be totally different than what your wife is on because you both have different kind of medications, you both have different kinds of needs. It's very important to understand too, as you're getting closer to retirement, does your employer offer health care for you when you retire? Because if they do, maybe you don't need to go on Medicare. There's a lot of different moving parts here and it's so important, so critical, you seek somebody out to help them out. What about pre-existing conditions? That can be one of the pitfalls with some of these coverage options out there. The only time that is a pitfall is if you try to go on to Medicare outside of those open enrollment dates. Because during an open enrollment date, it doesn't matter. 
that's when you get the opportunity with those pre-existing conditions mm -hmm. just to go in and do it. And open enrollment date is not just for people 65. It's for anybody 65 and older to give them that opportunity to change, maybe back and forth between Medicare supplements mm -hmm. to a Medicare Advantage plan. That open enrollment period actually starts in January and runs to the end of March. So there's a lot of different moving parts that you really need to seek out help to get with that. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Glad David. Glad to be here. <laughs>